So, wow, you know. So, you know, I told Booker, you know, fine, Booker, you know your case, man. Oh, oh hey, well, you know, you kind of laugh me, you know, laugh at it. And, and I remember he did that gimmick, uh, the Harlem, yeah, or whatever. Hangover. Hangover, yeah. yeah. So in this, uh, Unleash, Unleash, that's the name mm -hmm. of it. So I'm there, the, the finishes, you know, he puts me there. And, uh, so he goes for this gimmick, you know. And that gimmick, I mean, a finish to me, if you can't protect the other guy, you shouldn't do it. So to me, you know, to, to switch over in the air and land, you know, the face is, is not here, you know, I yeah. mean, it's a, you know, it's dangerous. It's impossible to calculate exactly where you're going to end up because you're flipping in the air. Oh, yeah. So sure enough, man, he landed almost his ass on my face. And so I just had to turn, time to turn around. So he knocked me off. It, I, I got a concussion, but... Uh, I finished the thing, you know, and uh, I didn't realize I had a concussion. So the next day, we're doing another TV, and, and, and lucky I could have killed myself because I drove that night. Mm -hmm. And I started puking. I was puking, you know, throughout the night. And the next day, I went to see the doctor. I said, oh, man, I said, oh, I'm puking. Oh, he said, look, I'm in here, sit here, you know, and look at my eyes. And, hey, this guy's not wrestling tonight. Oh, he says, you got a concussion, you know. So they had an MRI. And, and I had a severe concussion, really bad. I went on an airplane, man, and my head was like, phew, really. So I was off for a few weeks, you know, I think it was like three weeks. So that was uh, my first pay-per-view with him. <laughs> so, uh, you know, and I didn't know that, but 10 days before, he was working against Perry in Florida, and he knocked him out also mm. with that finish. So, <laughs> you know, 10 days later, Rick, we're going to do this finish, but I wasn't there that night, I didn't yeah. see it. Because or else I would have said, hey, look, hey, look, you can't have him. So that was his, the last night he did that finish was with me. <laughs> so, okay, so now we come back and uh, we work together. And in San Francisco was um, the pay-per-view uh, of, um, that was it April? Uh, yeah, I think so. So we we worked together and I had this trap there. I had won the um, TV title, TV title in, in Tampa. So uh, that night we're gonna do an angle where I, you know, switch back to him and uh, Perry and all that. Uh, so okay, so we work and in in the match again, you know, these things come in and uh, fuck, you know. So uh, finally, he went to build me, and small rings, you know, WBF, uh, WCW are small rings. In fact, uh, who uh, took me uh, the first night I came in? Uh, uh, somebody took me and says, Rick, have you ever seen these rings? You know, they're, they're really smaller than WBF, you know, and he uh, says, you should, uh, oh yeah, uh, uh, Razor, Razor Ramon, you know, mm -hmm. Razor took me, he says, uh, says, Rick, come with me, you know, during the day, he says, go in that ring and, you know, see, see, see how small it is, you know, you got to work different, you know, oh, yeah, that much, yeah, and the, the ropes, the ropes are really hard, you know, fuck, you got to, you know, don't wait until you're in television, you know, to <laughs> notice that. Yeah, oh, you're right, thanks, you know. So anyway, so during the match, you know, Booker goes to give me a bill from the from the corner. So it's a small ring, so you should just do one step and right away. So he goes two step and he throws me. And, this, you know, of course, he threw me into the ropes. And I got the tape, you know, at home. I mean, or, uh, so when I landed in the ropes, the ropes... On top of that, I so tight, my knee just went, Phew, you know, and my knee, I got up and my knee was like this, and it was like in the third minute of the match. So, so I, I kept the match going, you know, and, uh, and then was my, my, so then I, I went to, uh, I got operated by Dr. Sapila in Atlanta, did a hell of a job. So it took four months off, you know, and then I got back in shape, man, I was in really good shape, you know. I came back to Vegas, and man, I was in, Great, everybody, ah, oh, man, he really came back, good shape. So my first night, I'm working against his brother, you know, Ray. And and I love Ray. Ray's a, you know, great guy, you know. So he's going to do this finish. His finish, uh, uh, the finish was he's going to do his, uh, what was that, that thing? Uh, anyway, uh, a slam, uh, not a slam cake, but a pancake something or whatever. <laughs> So it's still... Flapjack? It's Flapjack. <laughs> I knew it was something for food. <laughs> yeah. 
So anyway, he's gonna flip me on that, and but then I noticed in that bump, I used to have my I used to I have to use my knees, you know, to 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 hold the fall, to to make the fall, to break the fall. And I said, oh, and then you know he's going to cover me, and then Brett Brett comes in with a chair and hits me over the head with a chair. So I says, oh, well, I don't know, Ray. I said that finish, you know, fuck my knee, you know. I said, so, uh, you know, in the old days, somebody was, ah, oh, fuck, we can do something else, and all that, but Ray's not experienced, you know, and, he, well, the, the office, you know, it's what we wanted. You know, it's my first night with my operated knee, I got a sling on here, and so he has to, you know, we have to do it, because he, he doesn't know what else to do, or whatever, you know, and, and then we do it, and sure enough, by trying to protect my knee, I, 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 um, I got two vertebrae in my neck uh, out, you know, and I said, that's it, man, it's over. And right there, that second, I says, fuck this. I says, my <laughs> life's so important, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because, because there are guys, you know, were trying to do something where, uh, you know, they would, uh, you know, we have to protect each other. That's the thing, you know, because, or else we're all going to be crippled, I mean, for the rest of our lives. I mean, uh, we want to make, to give the people a great show and, and f to the, so they enjoy it and everything, but not at the at the cost of our health. And I could see that that wasn't important anymore, and I'm 42 years old at that time, 25 years, and I said, that's it, that's all. Can you still wrestle today? No, I have two artificial hips. I had that done two years ago, and, um, you know, uh, thank God, you know, uh, after the operation, it's great, but I suffered... Uh, I mean, the two years prior to my operation was really hard, I mean, and uh, I had my friend Roddy I had it done, and Rene Goulet had it done. They, uh, you know, they used to call me, Ray, it's, you will see, man, it's nothing, and this and that. Uh, uh, so I had it done, and it's great now, you know, I mean, I'm still, you know, I work out, go to the gym and everything. I got a four-year-old daughter, and, and I have no more pain, and I think it's fantastic. So some people say, oh, man, don't you regret it, you know, now, you know, I, I don't regret a thing, you know. I had a great career, met some great people, and visited, you know, been around the world, and met, you know, it was a dream for me to become a wrestler. I accomplished my dream, and and um, hey, that's uh, that's what happened. The life, that's what life is all about. And um, do you have any favorite opponents that you worked, and any least favorite opponents? <sighs> yeah, well. Um, Obviously, Booker T. <laughs> no, you know, but I, you know, it's not personal. I mean, okay. I mean, Booker T and Ray and Stevie Ray. I mean, Booker T. You know, it may seem strange enough, but you know, I like those guys. I like both those guys. It's not their fault because that's the way the business is now. There's no. It's like having a, a football, NFL, and there's no college football to learn. Professional wrestling. That's what it's bad now because you have the WWE, but there's no circuit underneath that guys can learn how to work. Mm -hmm. So it's not Booker T's fault that he doesn't know how to protect the other. He didn't learn how. The guy means well. I mean, he, he goes out there, he wants to please the public, which is uh, good for the you know professional wrestling point of view. You want to please the crowd, make it good. But, but he didn't learn how to do the moves exactly like we used to. You know, when I started, you you know, you start playing there in a small territory, and then you 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 know, you move back up. But it's, that's what's wrong with the business now is that there's no. It's like like I said, NFL with no college football, where where guys start learning. Yeah, you're in the NFL now, and man, you gotta go for it, you know. So the guy don't know what the hell he's doing.